Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some fresh news about Intel's upcoming Battle Mars GPU. Maybe B770 is all about the high-end BMG G31 chip and that just popped up in the Intel's own driver update. So let's break it down. So while Intel's hasn't officially said anything about the next-gen Battle Mars lineup, but just recently Intel's open source compute runtime project, that's the platform used for OpenCL and OpenAPI, had a pitch update that includes support of BMG G31. So it is directly signed from the Intel's own development work that Battle Mars G31 is real and they are actively working on it. This update confirms four different new projects and they are using this G31 chip. That doesn't mean we will see four new products though. In past, like BMG G31 chip, Intel has nine internal IDs but only launched actually four cards, ARC B570, B570, Pro B50 and B60. So basically Intel is testing, preparing several products variation. Only the best one will make it to the market. Also in recent Mesa driver update, we saw IDs from E220 to E223, four IDs. Those IDs match the same four projects tied to G31 and for over a month now there has been no change suggesting that Intel is locked on those four variations. During Computex, some board partner let leave that Intel is preparing the ARC B770 which is expected to be successor of ARC A770 and this new G31 chip might be used in the GPU. The B770 is rumored to pack with 32 x 2 cores, 256 bit bus of memory, likely to have 16 GB of VRAM plus support of PCIe 5, 16 lane, which could mean a major upgrade in bandwidth and performance. So Intel is clearly getting serious about GPUs again. The Battle Mesh G31 chip looks like it is aimed to be high-end market, but again, Nvidia and AMD is one of the top competitors for them. What do you think? Nvidia and AMD is getting real competitor now or not? Let me know in the comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. See you in the next news.